Here's what happened in the world of music and tech this week. Stability AI has launched a new platform called Stable Audio. It's an AI powered text to music audio generator that can produce high quality music clips and sound effects up to about 90 seconds long, which is perfect for sync licensing and commercials. The tool is trained on a data set of over 800,000 audio files from the stock library site AudioSparks and can respond to detailed instructions on genre, instrumentation, mood, BPM, and more. Stable Audio is designed to help musicians create samples for their music and address some of the issues that other AI music softwares had, including creating random sections of a song that start or end in the middle of a phrase. Next up, a new app has been launched called Untitled that lets you share and organize unreleased music securely. The app was developed by Sin Titulo Inc. and allows for producers and musicians to securely share and organize their unreleased music. This app focuses on data security, offering encryption measures on par with the likes of SoundCloud and Dropbox. It offers high quality lossless streaming, seamless recording capabilities, and a hassle-free uploading process. Next up, Katy Perry has sold her catalog rights to a company called Litmus Music for a whopping $225 million, including stakes in her master recordings and publishing rights for her last five albums, which start from 2008 to 2020, giving her ample time to focus on her residencies in Vegas, philanthropy work, and raising her family. Music tech mogul Mark Eckert from That Pitch had stated about this that to remember that was just for her rights, major label artists normally only own about 15 to 20 percent of their actual catalog, meaning that her catalog in its entirety is probably worth about a billion dollars. In other news, a BMI sale could possibly have the music industry shook but could benefit songwriters. The company has an opportunity to evolve into a more modern entity that is for profit, causing some of their antiquated methods to be updated. Songwriters have been advised to keep on watch for this and observe the developments of this acquisition in the next year or so. AI music was a hot topic at the BMAC Gala, skepticism has been made when it comes to using artists that have possibly passed away and putting them back in the studio, losing the essence of their art. Also, a report from Billboard mentions that sync licensing is a growing market in 2023 as of right now. In the first half of 2023 alone, sync licensing revenue grew 25%, which comes out to about $222 million, accounting for 6% of the overall total revenue growth of the music industry as a whole in the United States. This trend is expected expected to continue, according to experts, providing opportunities for music producers and indie artists alike. We'll be talking about this much more extensively in the Shades of Sync conference that's coming up in November. Increased demand for music licensing during the pandemic has opened up many opportunities. Music producers and indie artists are encouraged by this article to take advantage of the increased demand by actively either promoting their work and building relationships with potential clients. We teach you how to do that in this masterclass. Also from this article, it also mentions potential challenges from the Writers Guild of America strike that's happening right now. The ongoing Writers Guild of America strike, which began on May 2nd, may eventually impact sync licensing revenue, but is not expected to be actually felt until early 2024, when new content is going to need to be made. In the meantime, there is still opportunities for music producers and indie artists alike in sync licensing in regards to video games and advertisements, which are less affected by the strike. Ableton's iOS app Note for musical sketching has introduced to sketch out ideas, including MIDI support, which allows users to connect to USB class compliant MIDI controllers via Bluetooth or be to play drums, keyboards, and create chords. Other new features on the app include the ability to search for new sounds, save presets, import samples, and convert videos to sound. Also for all the audio files out there, Genelec has released the 9320A SAM reference controller. This is a versatile audio monitoring tool, kind of like what Barefoot has for professional users. It could be used in different configurations, such as in-room immersive and standalone steps. Now, regardless of the room you're in, you'll be able to ensure that your mixes come out as crisp and clean as possible. And they also work with headphones. Comment your thoughts on these articles and we'll see you next week.